Okay guys, we're on to the process of getting the timing cover installed. Uh, this is a Dorman timing cover that I got over at Gearhead. Uh, it comes with the seal and it comes with the gasket. So this is pretty straightforward. You're going to want to take the seal and uh, neatly set the seal onto the front of the timing uh, cover. And then once you uh, get it to that point, you can go ahead and get your gasket ready and you're going to install this onto the front of the block and you're going to cover up your timing parts. So let's go ahead and get this installed now. I'm just going to simply tap this on uh, and seat it into the actual cover and then we'll go over there and actually install this little bad boy. Okay, quick tip on how to get this seal seated here in the front, this front seal. Um, it's, it's very tight and it fits into the timing cover very snug and secure. And you'll notice here on the side we're good to go and we have no banging marks or marring. If you start to use a hammer and you just smack it on the edges, you're going to most likely damage the seal. So you want to find something cylindrical that can take a little bit of a hit. I'm using an oil filter wrench. Uh, this is for a foreign vehicle uh, and it fits perfectly. Uh, into the groove of this seal. So I centered it nicely and I just gave it a couple of firm hits with a hammer and before I even did that I lubed it up a little bit with some of this ultra slick went right in. So uh, make sure when you're hitting it too the little spring on the back of the seal doesn't pop out of there. You can see it kind of sitting in there. Mine popped out so you just simply want to pop it right back in but it makes for a nice clean installation and now you're ready to go over there and get it onto the block. Okay here's the uh, paper gasket that it comes with. And this is the orientation that the gasket sits on the motor. So just go ahead and familiarize yourself and make sure you have the uh, orientation uh, correct before you go ahead and um, start getting over to the block. So once you understand this, we'll go over there and we'll put it on. Okay, here's our gasket and this is the orientation that it goes in. And you can see here that I did have to cut out, it's perforated already, but we have one dowel here in place. So I go on ahead and uh, cut out the gasket so it fits over the dowel here. And you can kind of see how that gasket's going to lay down on here. Uh, nice and clean. Make sure all your holes line up. Make sure everything looks good. And this one does. So I'm going to grab the timing cover here. Just going to slip that over the crank. And right here onto the engine. And what I'm looking for now is that locating dowel. And I made sure I got that in place. And I'm going around and I'm just basically looking to make sure that the gasket and the bolt holes line up. And the gasket isn't binding anywhere. So now that we have this like this, I'm going to go ahead and grab our bolts and let's get some of these bolts in here so it's secure to the block. Okay, for our build, we're using ARP. Um, I really like uh, the bolts uh, that ARP provides. They're really, really, really high quality. They're strong. They're the right length. Uh, you can never really go wrong with these. So uh, let's get these out of the package and start putting on that timing cover for real now. Okay, the first bolts that we're going to go ahead and do are the shorter bolts that come in the kit. Make sure you use your washers that are supplied. And these uh, all run a 3 8 inch uh, wrench. I'm using a stubby here. Uh, you can use whatever wrench you prefer. Uh, but basically, you need to get a wrench in here to do these. So let's get these kind of snug, not super tight, but snug. Uh, and then we'll move on to the longer bolts on the next step. Okay, before you get too carried away with uh, putting all the bolts in, uh, I want to start showing you the water pump here because that, that plays a big important factor uh, when it comes to uh, finalizing the installation of this. So let's take a look at our water pump here. I have my gasket resting on here so you can see the orientation. Make sure that these ports uh, here are not clogged. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of set the water pump up here so you can see it changes the game when it comes to what length bolts to use. So let's go ahead and get a couple of our longer bolts and get some this, get this kind of tacked on here to make sure we're using the right lengths. Okay, in your kit, you're going to get a really 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 long bolt. The longest bolt goes right here, right where the uh, where the radiator hose will come in at up here. So just start to get that one through and before you start anything, what I like to do is make sure it's penetrating the gasket, which it is. It's not hanging up anywhere. And then I just kind of align my gasket like this and pinch it. And then I try to get the bolt started here by hand, if possible. And now that we have it threaded in, that'll kind of hold things securely in place so we can determine the next bolt to use. Okay guys, I want to notate something here. Once you guys get to this point where you have your water pump bolted up, I want you to stop. Um, with the ARP kit, you're going to get enough bolts in to have everything secure, but here's a couple of things you need to take into consideration. We don't have our timing pointer yet, so we can't install our timing pointer and our bolts because the bolts will be too long and they'll over penetrate. So those aren't going to do us any good right now, so put those in a safe spot. We also want to take a look at the water jackets here of where this actually bolts to the block. 
Remember, we have pulleys that are still gonna be mounted onto the front of this, so some of the lengths of the bolts are not gonna be quite right, so I want you guys at this point to stop in the build, get it enough to where everything's tacked on, get your two short bolts up here. This bolt sort of over penetrates here, so we're gonna revisit this. They don't give enough bolts at this length here in the kit either, so I'm a little bit concerned about the kit here, but this is okay anyway. Stop here, because I'll show you. You'll see over here, all the pulleys that we're gonna be putting on the car are very similar to this setup here. Uh, and a lot of the bolts come with the, with the proper areas here. You'll look over here, you'll see that there's certain areas on this block where, like for example, right there, you need a spacer and a longer bolt, um, so on and so forth. It goes, it goes for that area over there. So I just want you to kind of pay attention to that here. So just stop right there. Let's get it to this point. And then we're going to go ahead and call this right now temporarily complete. We want to get the oil pan on here.